Okay, it's not just a fancy Hyundai. This is the Genesis G90, a brand new mod for BeamNG, which brings this massive luxury Korean automobile to the game. The Genesis G90 is a full-size executive car, and this mod has a feature I've never seen on a BeamNG mod before. If you press Alt and N, which is the normal key for fog lights, we get what is known as a welcome light. There's a hologram, or kind of thing, projected onto the floor of the Genesis logo. Isn't that awesome? So the exterior on this car is beautiful. It looks great, especially in this red. Look at those wheels. They're massive and they're very odd. Now, the interior isn't the highest quality, but it's not that bad. So basically, this is on a ETK 800 platform. You can download this from the link in the description on the forum. Let's take it for a spin. So we're going to do it in normal drive mode first. See how comfortable this thing is. Here we go. So what's it like? Well, I believe this one has a V6. Sounds very nice. Pretty good. There we go, we're driving along now. Nice and smooth, beautiful experience. On the move, this car looks great. So look at that. We've got Korean number plates, which I think is really, really cool. There is a working roof rack on the other models. What's happened to the number plate there? I have no idea. Whoa! Yeah, we should actually crash test this thing because apparently they've worked quite hard on the crash model. So let's have a look, here we go. Oh! <laughs> quite far away, Oh. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like that a lot. Let's put this thing in sport mode and see how it flies. Sounds a bit meatier. Oh, very quick gear change with a bit of backfire. Whoa. Oh my goodness. So it's a big bulky beast, but does handle okay. Here we go. Round here. Indicators. Nice. Stalks, of course, work. I've got the wheel cam on today so you can see me down here. You can see what I'm doing with the G27 wheel I've got. This mirror up here isn't working very well, is it? It's not really looking at the road behind us, but that's fine. Okay, there's error variant, and I think we should first have a look at the rear wheel drive variant of the 3.3 litre V6. So, rear wheel drive, how sporty is it going to be? Turn off the traction control, here we go. See if we can get some drifting going. Ooh! Whoa! We hit the railing a bit, but... Ooh! Does feel like quite a lively rear end. Come on, let's go bonnet cam. Handbrake a bit. Whoa. Oh, oh no, the wheel's like all wrecked. We need a bit more power, don't we? I don't know, it's not terrible. Manual mode. Any better? No. Can we even drift around this car part? Let's try. Come on, drift a Korean executive car. Oh, the figure tool. Nothing. Well, let's move on to the V8. So we've got an all-wheel drive V8 with the H-Track all-wheel drive system. So this is a Bastion V8. It's quite quiet, but that's normal. You know, it's an executive car. They're going to make these quiet sounding. Oh, yeah, lovely. Quiet sounding V8s. Oh, listen to that backfire. You can hear it from miles away. Okay, here we go. Performance wise. Yes, awesome. Let's get onto the motorway, see how it does on there. Off we go, this is the highest spec model, and you know what I've seen, in the back, the, the rear passengers have actually got little screens in the back of the seat, and it's showing, well what is it showing? It's showing the GPS. That is awesome. Here we go, full throttle, sounds good, there's 120, what a stormer. Off we go, I love this thing so much, yes. And on the brakes. Pretty good brakes. Could be a bit better, but they're pretty good. Rear wheel drive variant. Is this going to be the drift king we need? Okay, so waste no time. Turn the traction control off and go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Nearly. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, that was a big crash right there. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's quite powerful, but not massively set up for drifting. There's just a couple more variants. The Anti-Chrome 5 litre all-wheel drive. Anti-Chrome, it, well, it's all like matte black, which is pretty cool. So if you don't like chrome, this is the car for you. Look at that thing go. Like a gangster car or secret service, you know? Do another crash test. Whoa, look at that. Oh, we nearly landed on the overpass. Pretty cool. 
Oh, the engine fell out, I think. And finally, Azu's config. Look on the bright side, it's fast. What does that mean? I quite like the look of it. Is it manual? No, it's not a manual. But we have got nitrous, and we can put it in sport mode. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? That's craziness. Look at this thing go. Over torque risk. Uh, coolant overheating. That's not good. Oh, it's very hard to control. Wow. So what is this thing? It's got a supercharger and it's got... Oh, is it designed for drifting? Let's try it without the traction control then. I think it's all-wheel drive though. Holy moly. The wheels are like shaking off. Oh no! Don't hit anything. Uh, I feel we need to try this on the racetrack to be honest. How are we going? Pretty good over torque risk. There's 140. Piston rings damaged instantly. Oh dear. Um... That's ridiculous. Oh, we're riding the wall. Oh my, and we're rolling. Oh dear. Oh dear. Poor Genesis. Oh dear. And we're on the wheels. Nice. Well, there you go. The Genesis G90. An awesome mod which you can get on the BeamNG forum. So I'll link to it in the description down below. Thank you so much to the people on my Discord server for suggesting this mods. That's a great place to go if you want to talk about sim games, talk about BeamNG, or, whoa, or suggest me mods for videos. If you want to see another high quality mod in BeamNG, why not watch the video on screen right now? I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.